Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be solving this question, the integral of sine cube root x. And this is a very important ISC question. So make sure that you understand it. If you have any doubts, you can definitely comment down below. First, we'll be using the substitution rule. And then second, we'll be using the bypass rule. So let's begin. So we are substituting x as t square. So 2t dt by dx becomes 1 and 2t dt becomes dx. So we replace this in the integral. We have 2t sine cube t because x is t square. So this becomes t root x becomes t dt. And we will take 2 outside because, because it's a constant. And now we will be using the bypass rule. So the bypass formula is u into the integration of v dx minus the integration of differentiation of u into the integration of v dx. And the Lyate rule helps us to decide which term we should keep as u and which term we should keep as v based on which term of the integral is easier to integrate and which term is easier to differentiate. So the order of preference for the first term is log and then inverse trigonometric, then algebraic, then trigonometric and then exponential. And we have two terms over here. T is the algebraic term and sine is the trigonometric term. And because trigonometric comes after algebraic in the Lyate rule, we will place the trigonometric term as the V term and U becomes T. So now let's replace in the formula. But before that, we are going to substitute sine cube T as 3 sine T minus sine 3T upon 4. This is taken from the triple, angular, triple angle formula of sine and this makes it easier to integrate because sine cube is also difficult to in integrate. So now let's start. So u that is t into the integration of 3 sine t minus sine 3t upon 4 minus the integration of differentiation of t into the integration of 3 sine t minus sin 3t upon 4. So this, I can take minus, uh, sorry, I can take 1 by 4 outside. So t by 4, integration of sin is minus cos, so this becomes minus 3 cos t, and the integration of sin again minus cos, so minus of minus becomes plus, plus cos 3t upon the coefficient of t, which is 3, minus the integration of differentiation of t with respect to itself is 1, so this just becomes 1 by 4 into the same thing, minus 3 cos t plus cos 3t by 3. I'm going to take 1 by 4 outside and just remember that the whole thing is supposed to be multiplied by 2 because we took this 2 outside. Alright, so this is the same thing right here. So I'm not writing it again. This is minus 4, minus 1 by 4. And now we have two integrals. This is minus 3 cos t plus sorry, minus again, dt right here, minus 1 by 4 integration of cos 3t by 3. So now we can just take one, uh, 1 by 4 outside because it's part of every term of the integral. This becomes 2 by 4, so this becomes t minus 3 cos t plus cos 3t by 3 minus, minus minus becomes plus, I'm just taking this minus outside, plus 3 Integration of cos is sine and then 3 comes outside, 1 by 3. So this becomes minus 1 by 3. Integration of cos t is sine but here we have 3t so we have 3 in the denominator also and plus c. Alright, so now let's replace the t with root x but first we'll simplify. This becomes 1 by 2 minus 3t cos t plus t cos 3t upon 3 plus 3 sin t minus sin 3t upon 9 plus c and then take it out of the bracket minus 3t cos t upon 2 plus t cos 3t upon 6 plus 3 sin t upon 2 minus sin 3t upon 18 plus c and then root x so minus 3 root x cos root x by 2 plus root x cos 3 root x upon 6 plus 3 sin root x by 2 
minus sine 3 root x by 18 plus c. And this is the final answer as given in the textbook. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.